Presidents often ask us how they can take part in the discussions and important decisions which affect their community. However, many residents are intimidated or unfamiliar with the inner workings of a city council meeting, and even more importantly, how to take part in it. So today, we wanted to give you a quick crash course in how to take part in your city council meeting. First, we're going to start out by introducing who is here in our city council chambers. We start with our elected officials. They're the ones who will be casting their votes on the agenda items during the meeting. Englewood has seven city council members. Four have been elected by distinct districts within our city, representing their constituents within those districts. The others are elected as at-large members, meaning they represent the entire city. We also have our mayor and mayor pro temp who were elected to be city council members and then chosen for these positions by their peers on city council. We continue the introductions with our city attorney, deputy city manager and city manager. The city manager is appointed by the city council to oversee the day-to-day -day operations of the city and oversee all departments that make it run. Under the general direction of the city manager, the deputy city manager leads citywide projects and programs and provides ongoing assistance and support to the city manager, city council, and leadership team. Our city attorney makes sure that throughout all the discussions and all the ideas that are presented, that everything complies with local, state, and federal laws. The city attorney is also appointed by city council and is usually legal advisor to the city council as they go into closed sessions. We also have our city clerk, and while typically quiet during these meetings, the city clerk is the one who puts them all together. The city clerk creates the agendas, gets them published for residents to see, and keeps everything on task as we go through the meeting. The clerk also posts the minutes afterwards to keep everyone informed. Our deputy city clerk is here to record the minutes as the meeting is going on, as well as managing the public comment sign-up sheet and assisting any residents that wish to address the city council. Whether you're planning to comment under the public comment section at the beginning of the meeting or on the agenda during a public hearing, your comments will be limited to five minutes for a scheduled appearance and three minutes for an unscheduled appearance. Comments on any matter set for a public hearing should be presented during the hearing, not under public comment. To schedule public comment, contact the city clerk's office by Wednesday at 5 p.m. prior to the meeting. If you don't sign up by this deadline, you may still sign up at the meeting for a three-minute unscheduled public comment slot. You will want to arrive a few minutes early to fill out the sign-up sheet and hand it to our deputy city clerk. When the mayor calls your name at the beginning of the meeting, you should approach the podium, make sure the microphone has a green light indicating it's on, give your name and address or nearby cross streets, and you may speak on any topic. When the light on the podium turns red, your time is up. For Zoom attendees, make sure your camera is turned on and the microphone is unmuted when it is your turn to speak. If you would like to participate virtually, email cityclerk at inglewoodco.gov or call 303-762-2430. Presentations should be conducted in a respectful manner, and the speaker should not break any laws, such as making criminal threats. You also cannot give your time to another speaker or otherwise interrupt the meeting, such as with cheering or clapping. The city council may ask questions for clarification, but there will not be any dialogue. And at the end of all public comment, a member of city council usually responds. So now that we know how you can take part, Let's go through the process of when. The City Council usually meets for study sessions followed by regular meetings beginning at 6 p.m. the first and third Mondays of every month, but you should confirm the schedule on the City's website. The regular Council meetings begin at 7 p.m. The meetings are held in the Council Chamber located on the second floor of the Civic Center at 1000 Englewood Parkway. The city clerk will publish the agenda in advance, so you will know all the agenda items that are taking place. We know that not everyone is experienced or even comfortable with public speaking, so feel free to bring note cards or even print your entire comment and read it. 
you may also email any comments to City Council. Your comment is valuable, and our City Council relies on hearing diverse perspectives. So come with whatever tools are necessary to get your message clear and concise. And again, please be respectful. That's it. It's very simple and easy to contribute to these meetings, and we encourage you to take part in your community, and we look forward to seeing you here.